Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this accelerometer and gyroscope uh, MPU6050 to display the X, Y, and Z on the, this LCD 1602 uh, display with I square C module that has only four wires. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I have separate videos for uh, this I2C uh, CD uh, screen that you have to download and test it. Make sure it can display the text here. Once that's done come with this I have another video for this one uh, download the code and make sure that the, this displays the uh, value on the serial monitor the link for both videos will be provided at the, at the description section of the video below once both of these separately work then you can come here and uh, use this combined code uh, this way you will not have any issue let me explain the module quickly even though I've explained it fully before let me explain this uh, module quickly. This is accelerometer and gyroscope in one package. MPU6050, this is the MPU6050, the chip. This is just a PCB with all those supporting components. This works with 3.3 volts, um, but we have a voltage regulator here, so you don't have to worry, just connect VCC to five volts. This will mm, down convert it for this. And it has these pins, so we have VCC, ground, SCL, that's a clock, and then data, SDA, and then XDA, that's accelerometer data, and XCL, that's accelerometer clock, and then we have uh, data selector, uh, I square C data address selector, and then we have an interrupt pen. And there is nothing on the side. Now let me explain the wiring. From this side we have VCC and ground. VCC is connected to 5 volts, ground is connected to the ground here in Arduino. Then we have SCL and XCL. These are supposed to be connected to the clock and SDA and XDA will go to the SDA or the data wire. And then uh, this uh, line is not used. This is for I square C address selector and the last one is entrapped which is connected to pin 2. For I square C uh, as I mentioned this SCL and XCL they are all connected together so here I have because I needed to connect three things here so here what I have done from, from pin a4 and A5. A4 is connected on this side. I've connected on this and A5 is connected in here. All of these wires, this is now A4 is all SDA. So this is SDA, this is the A, as you can see here, this is the is the brown one. The brown one is for this gyroscope SDA is connected here and then XDA is a black one black one is also connected here this is a black wire which is connected on this side and then for SCL for the clock and XCL both of these are the white and red are connected here on this side they are connected in here now for the I square C the same way we have VCC and ground VCC is connected to 5 volts so there is second 5 volts that was 1 and that's the second and the ground is also connected here and then we have this blue and green uh, SDA is green and SCL is uh, blue SDA is connected on this side the green on this side which goes to pen A4 and then SCL is blue, which goes from here to pin 5 of, of this 
uh, Arduino. I've just used this breadboard to extend the number of pens so I can connect them all together. But if you are soldering all this or maybe twisting all the wires, it's perfectly okay and it will work. I've mentioned in my previous videos, we can connect 127 pairs. So this is just three pairs. So we can connect them all if we want to use all this breadboard and connect it, it will be able to communicate. When you get on the screen, this, uh, the angles for x, y, and z, you get minus 90, minus 90, and zero. This is the fact that these two, the SDA and SCL here, we have SDA and SCL for, uh, we have SDA and XL for acceleration, which has x, x, and this is for the gyroscope. So you see this SDA and SCL when you connect the wires incorrectly, for example, in my case, it's the red and the brown. If you flip them and uh, the connect them incorrectly, here you will see those values. Now I'm going to connect red here and brown there. And then watch for the value. The angle will start working properly. Let me now explain the code. Uh, I've explained this code in a separate video, but here we're going to have a look at it because I've combined the LCD with this now. And the, this line is for the uh, MPU 6050 main library. This is the ISOLC communication. And this is initializing the MPU 6050 object. These two lines are for and the LCD uh, library and settings. So this is creating the object LCD uh, from this class. And 0x27 is the address, 16 is the number of characters, 2 is the number of lines, so 1602. And for this one, I will provide you also the uh, I2C scanner so you can run it in case if yours is different, change this accordingly. Inside the setup, this is initializing the this monitor, that's this value here. And then wire begin, that's for uh, communication purpose. This is initializing the MPU 6050, it begins and then it sends, sets the offset for the uh, uh, calculating the gyro offset. And these two lines are for LCD, this is initializing, this is the setting up the backlight so it will be turned on. Up to this point, uh, there is no change. This the code is the same as before. This is angle X, angle Y, and angle Z, and this is just a text, and these are the value for angle X. So we use MPU 6050 dot get angle X dot get angle Y dot get angle Z, and it will print it here on this screen. Because there is no LN, all of these are print, 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 and then just we have LN here, that's why we see it in one line. Only last, portion after the Z we have LN so that goes to the next line. This line is clearing the previous value from the screen and from here I've created this function this function LCD display. So this is the opening, this is the closing and we are passing two important section. The this the label which says X, Y or Z and the actual value. In order to print the label has x, y, or z for x, uh, the same way for x or for z. This is, uh, we have to set the location in terms of line and in terms of character, either that's line 0 or line 1 or which character. Uh, so we set that and also we set after the x. For example here, it, uh, we have to start at some point, so this is character 0, character 1, character 2, that's why we say start from character 2 of line 0, this is line 0, and then we print the angle x, which is this. And this was for one value, this is for x, the same thing we do for y, now it's character 13, because if you count to 23, this is 13, we say go at character 13, line 0, and print this text. And then after that, we go to character 0, line 1, here, we print this y, and that is the y value, 
the y was there and that's the y value and after that we use the same thing for z so this starts from character 7 of uh, line 1 7 1 that prints the z and then character 9 after 7 that's 7 8 9 from 9 we start at line 1 and you print z this way it just prints the value for us and there is a 100 millisecond loop and continues the function that is calling this I've written it here so we don't repeat all this for that uh, uh, each x y and z so we are just using one function three times so this function gets all those values you don't need to change anything here but this is the title character tr is a title row and that's the actual title after that we have three that's value character which character and which row to be displayed and that's the value and we just we just print it here is a demonstration when I reset this uh, let's assume from I'm starting from this point just pressing the reset button I'm not moving this and then it started so this is the y direction and that is the x and rotation this way or that way is the z so if I bend this a little up as you can see it goes minus 20 minus 50 70 and that's a three digits so it can go up to whatever rotation how rotation you go but if it's less than three digits it will shift and we will have empty space here so that's good it, uh, it can accommodate any three digit angle but if you're going let's say 1000 degrees multiple rotation this will fail it will not have room for it because I have used this X Y and Z here so if you can understand it without those letters that's fine J then, then remove this and remove this so you have one more uh, digit so maybe just remove the two colon from here and here that's not affecting but this one so and then now let me go in the in x direction and then now for the for the z direction we go for three digits as you can see it's minus 116 degrees that direction as you can see this is almost zero this side is negative and this is positive so even if we have a three digit reading you see this is positive we have one more space for the negative angle With three, digit, with three digits. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested to get updates of my upcoming videos.